To begin the tutorial, we'll take a look at the finished rendering. This rendering is using global illumination. Notice the shadow under the girl very closely matches the shadow to the chair to the left hand side. The girl also has a single blue light shining over her to give her the similar tint to the rest of the picture. Her feet walk firmly on the ground and the light is slightly off to the right hand side to match the lighting in the picture. First, we start off with a picture uh, with a nice perspective that we can use for our shadow catching tutorial. The picture is then loaded in the properties box under the scene. Uh, if you check on the map. Now if the picture doesn't show up on your production window then you have to uh, set that under your rendering options. To find the rendering options, you go to the upper left hand side of right hand side of your window and there's a little arrow inside of a circle. Click on that and your uh, rendering option box will show up. And just find the uh, little check place that says show backdrop. Click on that and close the box under OK and then the picture should show up in your production frame. Once the picture is in the production frame, then we can begin the rest of the tutorial. We will cover perspective a little more closely later on in the tutorial. First you need to import your geometry or put your geometry together. In this case we built a long ramp and uh, lined the girl up on it so she walks along the ramp uh, using uh, collision detection and this is a regular poser model. We're going to assume that the user already has some knowledge of Carrara. And then we line the ramp up inside the picture. Notice the ramp is a little bit lower than the, uh, than the, the edges of the walls. The reason for it is because the, the walkway actually slopes downward like for water runoff in the picture. So when the, uh, when the ramp disappears as a shadow catcher, then the girl will appear to walk firmly along the ramp. So we click on our object, our ramp, and then we go to our texture dialog box. And then under top shader and then lighting models, we click on our shadow catcher. Now our object is all set up for uh, your rendering. Now you can see in this rendering the global illumination has been turned off and the shadow catcher hasn't been activated. And this is just to show the blue light overhead, the single blue light to have the girl match with the picture. Now once again we see the final rendering. The, the girl has a similar tint to the rest of the picture, off to her light, the light, overhead light off to the right, and the shadows lining up, as you can see, compared to the chair. When objects are placed behind a shadow capture, they are blocked. When they are placed in front of a shadow, shadow capture, they uh, cast shadows. As you can see, as the uh, objects disappear, when, the, when they all come back, all these objects came from the browser and are supplied as part of the Carrara 6 program. Now, when you see the trees in the back finally appear, you'll see that they're blocked by the shadow catcher that is in front of the house. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to take a house and add things to it so it looks just a little bit nicer. First, we just took a picture of a house right off the internet and then uh, we modeled some uh, parts and we modeled these parts actually with the house image. I just took the uh, image out so you could see what the individual parts look like. Now you can see the uh, cylinder. It's just a regular cylinder put in the place of the windows in the house and the uh, fla some flat pieces. Notice the lined up. We use that as a, as a base plate because uh, this perspective is really important in shadow catchers when uh, adding all the other parts. Now those pieces have been assembled and tweaked until they actually fit where the actual house is. Remember to check Shadow Catcher in the Texture dialog box. Now we can add the individual parts. These are parts that come with the Carrara program. Trees and, and parts that are uh, part of the uh, browser. Uh, now you can see the, uh, the shadows around the house. Uh, if we just used the, uh, the default, they would be very black and wouldn't look very natural. So we actually have one bulb off to the upper left and you can see uh, in the properties window that the uh, shadow intensity has been dropped to 38 percent. 
Now with the final rendering, you can see the completed house. It looks very attractive with all the individual parts.